Uh, it's not that I'm trying to appeal to the easily manipulated females in the audience. This is just, hey, it's almost over. Uh, it's halftime in America. Uh, by the way, Claritin doesn't work. Uh, and that's my and plenty of others' opinion. Merck, if you want to sponsor this show, maybe I'll do a retrial. Allegra and Zyrtec, uh, you're on my good side, though. Anyhow, uh, my co-host today is Bob Gazzardi, and uh, you have some stuff to say. I'm not supposed to say the word stuff. I use that colloquial too much. My mom told me that. You have plenty to say about the treatment of Ann Romney in recent days, and let me turn it over to you. Uh, as many of you know, Ann Romney was attacked by a woman, Hillary Rosen, who now is claiming that she acted on her own, or at least others are claiming that they acted on her own. In fact, I think most understand that her attack represented the left-wing Obama view of women, that a woman who stays home, a woman that raises her children, nourishes her children, a stay-at-home mom, is someone, is someone who is anathema to the Democratic left-wing progressive agenda. Uh, there was a very, very interesting article yesterday or opinion piece by James Taranto in the Wall Street Journal talking about this war on women. Uh, and it is clear that there's been a backlash against Hillary Rosen and her claim uh, that, that uh, Ann Romney is somehow uh, uh, not representative of real women because she stayed at home and took care of her children. Uh, there are many, many women, 40 percent, 50 percent, who stay at home, who take care of their children. And it may well be that those who do not stay home with their children and work because they have to envy, in a, envy Ann Romney, who is in a privileged position to stay home and take care of her children. Uh, she has made that choice. Many other people make that choice. Uh, and they make it for very solid reasons. A mother is the person who brings life into the world, brings children into the world. The mother traditionally has had the primary responsibility for raising children because she is the one who has carried the ch child and brought life into this world, brought their lives into this world. To, to attack Ann Romney for being a mother who takes care of her children is reprehensible and not in the mainstream of American views, in my opinion. James Taranto takes this all the way back to an anti-momism movement in the 40s and 50s that saw the mother as the domineering, dominating factor in, in, a, in a life and that all problems resulted from the mother's domination of her poor, emasculated son. Woody, Woody Allen did a whole movie on this. Um, it's a Freudian staple that it's the mother that, that is the cause of a boy's psychopathologies and, and uh, aberrant behavior. Uh, this was uh, made more popular by a man, Philip Wiley, W-I-L-E-Y, who wrote about it. The anti-momism movement was actually male misogyny. It was males who were reacting against their mothers and against women and dominating women and the, the strong woman. It then morphed into Betty Friedan's left wing, and, and Betty Friedan was a communist. She was a Marxist. Uh, her, her attack on, the, on women was predicated on a, a romanticized view that the wife was somehow uh, uh, put into a subservient position that, was, that she was repressed. She had a dead soul. She was trapped in a suburban prison of consumerism and, and children, and that she was never fully developed. And then in order to be a real woman, a full woman, a complete woman, she had to work in an office. So the, the feminist mystique, along with the anti-momism movement, created a, a cultural view that a, a woman is most complete, a woman is most a woman when she's just like a man working in the workplace at a, at a job that pays money rather than at the most crucial uh, role in the world, that is raising the next generation passing on the values of a culture. To attack Ann Romney for this uh, is, is reprehensible. It is, in my opinion, as far as I know, unprecedented that a candidate's wife was personally attacked. Uh, I don't think that Hillary Clinton was ever personally attacked in this way. Uh, Chelsea Clinton was off base. No one ever made a mention of her. Uh, no one has mentioned uh, Barack Obama's two children in other than the most supportive ways, as well they should. 
uh, Barack Obama is uh, does live family values and is very very protective. Michelle Obama does obviously nourish and protect her children. Uh, th- th- this is the role of women, uh, or or many people think think that the fact that some women want to work in the workplace and make that choice that's terrific too. Uh, there's no doubt that many women, Sarah Palin. Uh, for example, have made tremendous contributions. Uh, the history is is loaded, and especially recent history, with women who are and have made tremendous contributions. But to attack a woman personally because she raised her own children is reprehensible, and is is indicative and demonstrative of the the progressive agenda. And I'd just like to point out that Mother's Day is only 26 days away. And if you're listening from Hallmark, FTD Florists, Godiva, etc., cetera, uh, we're available for, for sponsorship. You've got to be taught to hate and fear. You've got to be taught from year to year. 